Get up and get your damn clothes on right okay. now. I don't know where they are. I'm so just having a good time. It was a dream of yours. Yeah, I'm quite sorry. Sounds yeah, more like a nightmare. It's just after 9 p.m. in Pinellas County, Florida, where one couple's night on the town is about to come to an end. What in the hell are you guys doing? I'm sorry. I just said wear my clothes. I'm so sorry. I need 19. I'm 10, 12. I'm so sorry. Get up and get your damn clothes on right okay. now. I don't know where they are. Well, you better find them. Hurry up. Nineteen, can you copy that? Oh, yeah. Find your IDs. Okay. My purse is down right now. There's like five people that hold them on this shit. Mm -hmm. Literally, ass naked on yeah. top of each other just laying there. Where's your driver's license? Deputies identify the couple as 55-year-old Sarah Fazekas and 60-year-old Robert Clark after multiple callers reported the two having, let's just say, relations near a public sidewalk. Let's continue. Where in the car? I'm just having a you understand you're on a beach. I know. In the middle of a roadway, pretty much, right? So there's people walking by with their kids out here, and they're watching you guys do this. You know how many calls we've gotten over you two? You guys are foolish. You're grown-ass adults. Get a hotel room. Go stand over there by that tree. The deputy runs our suspect's IDs, while another catches up with several people who witness the act, including minors. Let's see what they have to say. What's going on? Hey. So that was the ones that we walked past. Okay. And they were just, he had no pants on. Okay. Going to town. Um, That's just nasty. <laughs> Do you guys have uh, your IDs on you? I know. I need my ID. Okay, perfect. I'll just get your name and everything. Say anything to them as you walk past? No, no, well, the first time we went by, he still had pants on and they were just like rolling around, moaning, making noise, kissing. Yeah, okay, okay, that's fine. But when we came back by and his pants were off, I covered her eyes. Okay. And we walked by, but you can see his whole butt, sack, everything okay, from the back side. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, Do you mind if I get your guys' info as well? Okay. Right. You, you take mine. I don't, you don't need hers, right? Well, she's a minor, so I want to make sure that there's not an additional charge for her being a minor and then being out here. If that's okay with you, okay. I can leave her out of it if you'd like me to. It's not a big deal. Yeah, I mean he's a minor too. Yeah, I've got his. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Do you have your ID on you? The deputy finishes gathering those witnesses' information before heading back to deal with our daring duo. Okay. Do we need anything else from him? I got all their info. Nope. All right. Appreciate it, guys. All right, thank, thank you. you. <clears throat>
cost them both on your person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are the same thing. I'll grab some gloves. He said, he said, uh, you could see everything from second to crack. Oh, 100. Like, I walked up and I was actually off for a second. Like, really? I've been in for a while, but I used to see stuff. Welcome back. <laughs> Her name is Sarah. He's Robert. Okay. Deputies divide and handcuff the pair. Oh, you're good. You're good. Go ahead and put everything up here for me. Oh, you face the trap. You don't need to so do this. So we're going to put you in handcuffs for now, okay? Why not? Why? You're only doing it because I got a record. I'll get you a shoot. You think it's completely acceptable to sit here on the causeway, fully nude, and have sex in front of all these people and kids? I don't think that at all. Let's join the other deputy as Robert makes an interesting excuse. I don't think that at all. Okay. 11 o'clock at night. And what, what does the time supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean the kids are in bed. Literally three feet from the sidewalk. You're three, yeah, three feet from a, the sidewalk, a roadway. You're yeah. 10 feet away from your car. Yeah, no. Yeah, wasn't even what? Probation? Uh, look at that. So this is a good idea no, for you? No. I, mean, no. I didn't even actually look up any of your shit. I'll tell you the truth. Uh, I mean, I don't know. All right, let's go. I'm just going to double check. Walk back here. Is your truck unlocked? Your trunk? No, I'm not talking to you. Shelta, is your truck unlocked? Okay, thank you. Shelta. There we go. Thank you. Jump in there for me. Alrighty. You heard that right. Robert told the deputy that kids should be in bed because of the time and admitted to being on probation. Plus a troubling discovery. A sheriff's office report shows that Robert is a registered sex offender. Let's rewind and see how Sarah handles the arrest. Sarah, do me a favor, walk over here, okay? Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Go ahead and put everything up here for me. Right, go ahead and face the truck. Am I being arrested? So we're gonna put you in handcuffs for now, okay? Why? I'll get you shoes. Oh, shit. All right, I'll get you shoes. It's really acceptable to sit here on the causeway, fully nude, and have sex in front of all these people. I don't think that at all. Okay. You're literally three feet from the side of the road. Yeah, three feet from the sidewalk, a roadway. You're ten feet away from your car. I'm sorry. Can you have my disappearance for my eyes? Just hang tight, okay? Just hang tight. Okay. Just Is your name Sarah? Sarah? Okay. Do you have anything on you? It's going to start to help you. You're not hiding the puppy? I don't know. All right. Go ahead and turn around for me. I'm just going to double check, okay? Which one you want? Okay. Uh, no. It is. should be now. Okay. All right. I don't have anything on me right now, okay? No, don't do that. I've got tissues in my car. Okay, let's walk this way. My mom if it's on top of your car. Yes, I will get it. Okay. I'm coming. I'll grab your shoes, okay? I'll grab your shoes. Why am I 
because you guys were butt naked having sex out here on the bus line. No. I'm going to swap this way. I'm 50. <laughs> it was a dream of yours. Yeah, unfortunately. Sounds more like a nightmare. Um, yeah, exactly. At this point. Yeah. Alright. Don't make fun. <laughs> Can you believe I'm doing it? <laughs> Now get this, Sarah admits to the deputy that this situation was a, quote, dream of hers. Moments later, we get a good look inside the 55-year-old's purse where deputies find, well, see for yourself. The deputy mutes audio for the clip, but we can see she finds something suspicious in Sarah's purse before showing it to another deputy. Shortly after, we get a good look at the object and discover it's an Altoid container. An investigation report shows deputies found various pills in the container, including clonazepam, a Schedule IV controlled substance. Back with Sarah, a transport van has arrived to take her to jail. Let's see how that goes. So this is a transport van. He's going to take you to the jail. Well, it's only going to be for a, for a few minutes. The process you need to be out one, two, three. I'll bring it over as soon as we get you inside, okay? Yeah. Go ahead and stand up here. I've never been to jail before. It's, it's okay. Everybody makes like it's it's fine. Let me just uh, put this on, okay? And I'll put the handcuffs in front of you. What's gonna happen to you? Go ahead and face oh, this way. Well, she's going to, but um, I can't have you guys in the same uh, location. You can put your arms down. So, um, so you guys would just be in separate compartments, that's all. Yeah. Yep, let me just uh, give, give me a quick second. Okay, okay. go ahead. I think I've got um, some favorite towel here. Great, that would be great. Oh my god, that would be even more. Well, okay. see, uh, we, I have to do this with policy, but, okay. you know, we're in a nice secluded area, so no one's going to see you. So. Uh, it's, I don't care, it's just I've never been to Hugo before. I've never been to Hugo before. I've never been to Hugo yeah. Well, like I said, um, that's what the sheriff department wants us to do. So, like yeah. I said, it's not because you're extra bad or anything like that. That's just the policy, okay? I'm like, I think No, hold on. I, I got to lock these in so oh, that way they okay, don't. Sorry. Yeah, we don't want these getting okay. tighter on you. So, okay. Now, um, I, I've got it semi warm in there. So just let me know. I don't feel anything right now. <laughs> well, okay. So um, I'll, I'll get you some some tissues. Just uh, watch you watch you step here and watch your head when you get in. Okay. I I got the bell behind you, so you won't fall. So is that is that fine? Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Robert is up next as the deputy takes him to a separate area of the transport van. All right, man, go ahead and swing your feet over. Step up here, put your feet underneath here for me. All this because of um, exposure. I don't know, man. I uh, I'm just uh, I just transport, but um, like the handcuffs in, in the belt and stuff. That's um, 
best policy by the sheriff's department. So. No, um, you can put your arms down. You don't, um, uh, oh, okay. Okay, because a lot of people will put them up and then they just leave them up. Um, you don't have any, um, any hidden weapons or contraband or anything like that, right? No. Okay. I, I try to give everybody, you can, uh, get the fingers part there. I try to give everybody a heads up because, you know, you're going to go through a body scanner when you get to the jail. And, um, so you don't want to yeah. get hit extra. Okay. Extra charges. Well, that's good. It's like, you know, like this. <laughs> I, 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 it's not I, good. <laughs> I mean, I wish I didn't have them. But well, I mean, I, I try to tell everybody because I mean, you don't want us, you know, if you get with two felonies just for, you know, trying to cream something in. Uh, but there are people that do it. So, so I try to, I just try to help out. No, it costs enough money because then the car is going to be the putting on. Yeah, I don't know if it'll hold the car or not. No, probably will. They need the money. State needs the money. So, um, watch your, uh, watch your step down here, and then watch your head as you get back here, okay? And I got some belt keys. I'm gonna grab the property. Yes, Sarah was booked for exposure of sexual organs and possession of a controlled substance. Robert was booked for lewd or lascivious exhibition. The case is still active.